Well, it's a, uh, it's a real treat to just spend a couple of minutes with you this evening. And I want to focus our conversation or just the couple of, uh, couple of minutes that we have and really talk about constituencies. Now, constituencies are things that are easy for people like me to relate to. And those of us who seek elective office, you look at groups, you know, and you sort of pigeonhole people. And um, there's the National Association of these guys and the Illinois Association of those guys. And all sorts of little groups in public life get into different categories, little constituencies that you care about. I had a briefing yesterday in my office in, in Washington and had some big shot in there that's telling me all this razzle-dazzle stuff and I was acting like I was following what he was saying. And um, at one point in the conversation, I said, oh, so that sounds like a good idea. He said, oh, Congressman, if you make that choice, then you're gonna make this constituency upset. So if you're in public life, your worldview is about constituencies. If you are Mark Elfstrand, your worldview when he sits in front of the microphone at WMBI on those early mornings and he's driving in at the crack of dawn to be on the radio, his constituency is listeners. And the folks at Moody, they love Mark, but he better get a lot of listeners, otherwise they're going to find somebody else at the microphone. His constituency is listeners. Norm told us tonight the story about his business journey and his constituencies were his, were his partners and his wife, a very important constituency, as he went on. We've got a special guest in that we've got an NFL star in our presence. Um, Musa Muhammad has a couple of constituencies that he cares about. He has a constituent called Lovey Smith, who's very important to his world. He has another constituent that sits high in the booth named Virginia McCaskey. He cares about what those constituents think about his performance. Believe me, I've never met the man, but I'm looking at him. We've never met, but I know what he's thinking on that football field. When he's set and he hears the, the quarterback, whichever one it happens to be, make the signal, <laughs> and he runs his route, he wants to hear the whole crowd at Soldier Field say, moo. He doesn't want to hear boo. His constituents are very easy to understand. I know a lot of you in this room. Some of you have constituents who are customers. You're business people. And you've got to sell things. Some of you have clients. Some of you have patients. But all of us have constituencies. And that's a little bit about the logic of man that Norm referenced earlier this evening in the proverb. The logic of man has us look only as far as certain constituencies. And if those groups don't reward what you're doing, then there's really not a reason in terms of the logic of man to do anything about it. It doesn't make sense to do it based on the logic of man. I have an independent recollection of being in a room uh, trying to negotiate through a very difficult problem in government. And it was this group and that group and, and all these office holders and you're trying to sort through all this stuff and it's very complicated and, and you're trying to put the best deal together and finally somebody said, just for fun, how about let's do the right thing? And all of a sudden, like the clouds parted and there was a sense of clarity about Hey, that's crazy. Let's do the right thing. That, friends, is the wisdom of God that Norm referred to. We know that the constituencies that are going to benefit from this program are really silent constituencies, aren't they? With very few exceptions, we get a glimmer into those lives. We've heard from the bishop, we've heard from Jason, we've heard from others, but ultimately it's a pretty quiet group because they can't be here tonight. But we have a constituency ultimately of one, and that's the Lord Jesus, who invites us to participate with what he's doing, not with what Manny's doing, not with what Koinonia House is doing, 
but what the Lord Jesus is doing. And so we have this great invitation, this opportunity. Those of us with financial resources, we have been blessed, friends, but we've been blessed to be a blessing. And so it is with that hope and that spirit and that invitation that on behalf of the Lord and the work that he's doing that I invite you to participate tonight. So I'm sure this is what Muslim hears every day. Go deep and run hard. You know what you need to do, and you know when to do it right now. Thank you. <laughs>